because over time I, I know that that is how I function. If I'm not spiritually charged, I will be angry, I will be upset, I will be edgy, I will be shouting on anybody. You have to understand the different aspects of your life, the things that drain you and the things that fill you up. I took a trip last year all by myself. I went to Canada. I didn't go with anybody. I had a nice time. I love to travel. So I was traveling from different places in Ontario. You know, I was traveling from one place to another. I would stay with family. They would take care of me, give me food, take me out. I went to Canada Wonderland. I ate. I ate. I felt full. When I came back, I was happy to take care of my family. You know, I was happy to be with them. You know, so for different people, I, I, I love to exercise. I ride the bicycle, I swim, I do aerobics. My husband knows this. He bought me a bicycle. Even the wow. way I ride my bicycle. Wow. <laughs> oh, I will take us a lot of riding. He bought, he bought me a bicycle. bicycle. Every morning, um, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, I go for aerobics. You know, evenings, I take walks. Or I ride my bicycle. He also plays table tennis. That is exercise. He plays table tennis for two, three hours. He will be drenched in sweat. That's his own exercise. So we understand that there are certain things we do that fill us up, you know, as a family, as an individual, as a parent with responsibility. So you have to find the things that fill you up, the things that you enjoy doing. Every time when I go for a bicycle ride, when I come back, I am happy, I'm excited, I can play with my children, I can make dinner without being upset, being overwhelmed, being tired. And that is what works for me. So you have to find out what works for you and what fills you up in your different banks. Okay, so um, I have two more questions. Number one is, what's your take on women that wouldn't want to get help? because of their husband because they will feel if i bring in a house help the house help might might try to seduce my husband what's your take on this okay so um essentially i think as women we also we need to reorientate ourselves it starts with us if i don't feel like i need help then nobody can help me if if i want to continue to be a superwoman you know there are a lot of us that we look at people that live simple lives and we say look at them they are lazy she can't if you're a person like that then you are the one creating you know the difficulty the hardness for yourself and nobody prepares you for marriage nobody prepares you for marriage the only thing you feel about marriage is oh i'm going to be in love we'll be a family we'll, ha we'll be happy you know I, let me give an example of myself when i got married you know the responsibility of the family then i got pregnant then i had a baby i was overwhelmed i became uh, there's a word my husband and i used for it we say we call it pregnophobic I, the thought if I should miss my period, the thought could make me start shivering because the responsibility of raising a child, sleepless night, and the fact that the child will be with you for the next five years, they are bound to you, attached to you like mm, a part of their glued. You know, it was so much responsibility. I tell you, when my son was one year old, I applied for masters and I traveled. Did you go with the baby? Yes, I did. You know, um, honestly, one part was, oh, I've always wanted to do my master's. Let me do it now. The other part was, let me run away. Uh, I, don't, I don't want to go mad. Let me run away. This is too much for me. Let me mm. go somewhere mm. where nobody can reach me, mm. you know, except through a phone, you know. And yes, my husband used to come every other month. But that was time for me to recover i don't say it i don't know why i'm saying it right now but honestly in my mind that was how tired i was the marriage all my life that i prepared for i wanted to run away from it do you understand and it took his understanding his support you know being with me and saying whatever it is that you need you know to make me run back you know, when I was done with my program, run back and know, know that, okay, now I have to 
you know, handle this better and I have support and I have help, you know, and things like that. So whatever, you know, um, going for taking a year break, um, I, I know and that was difficult. Like after how many, how many years of your marriage? I, I, I got pregnant a year after my marriage. That was like two years after marriage. You know, okay, so ladies that goes into marriage out of societal pressure, out of all my age mates have gotten married, out of I'm in the church and everybody is just asking me, when are you, when getting, are you married? getting married? It's something you have to get prepared for. It's a